Hey everybody, Diamonds by Tita here. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. Um, we are gonna do a whip and chat. Um, and I wanna tell you a little bit about this painting. You probably saw me just unbox this. Um, and it is from a, a product review package. Super cute, there's a little bit of a story behind it. Um, but first of all, I wanna welcome you all in, welcome. I hope you enjoy this content. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Um, consider subscribing. There is a, down over here on the right, if I can get my finger over here somewhere, is a red button that says subscribe. You can just click on that and subscribe. So, this is the story about it. I explained a little bit in the whip and chat, but I'll go a little deeper dive for you guys. So, uh, if you haven't already joined my Facebook group, it's Diamonds by Tita. I want to invite you all to join. It is not just diamond painting. It is all crafts, uh, no matter what you do, from coloring pages to um, crocheting, knitting, um, needlepoint, diamond painting, um, where the crafts are there, a card making, um, you name it, any type of craft is in this um, uh, Facebook group. It is a drama-free Facebook group. I don't allow any drama, um, negativity, nastiness, bullying, um, nothing like that. It is a place for us just to have fun and um, talk about our crafts, show our crafts, ask questions. Um, the people that are in there Hello, oh, let me tell you, they are so talented. Um, beautiful crafts. I've seen uh, beautiful crocheted items. I've seen beautiful um, handmade cards along with the diamond painting. It's just beautiful. I think you'd probably really like it. So anyway, I'm inviting you all in. Diamonds by Tita. I'm linking it down below in the description. And um, so getting back to the cat. So the first month in January... Uh, we did an event that was called Pretty in Pink. And it was any craft that had some pink in it. For example, this could be Pretty in Pink if we were doing it this month. Um, but for the month of March, we are doing Gorgeous in Green. So that's any craft that has green in it. And as you can see, there's lots of green leaves in this. But what drew me to it, let me just show you this really quick. Look at those eyes. Are those gorgeous green eyes? They're just lovely. I really, really love these eyes. I'm not certain about the markings in the face. Um, I may be changing up some of the markings in here, but we will we will go on a little bit more. So I know this is a little bit long-winded story, so bear with me. I haven't even gotten to the squirrel thoughts. Um, so um, Diamond Painting Bewitched Cat is also having an event. I believe hers is spring or flowers, um, and she's doing a cat. Um, it's a big 40 by 70. That's beautiful. I happen to have the same cat, and I love it. I just have not had a chance um, to do it yet. Um, and I really been, was debating, you know, do I add another big project to the list or not? And um, then I got this product review package in, and I forgot that I had ordered a cat. Um, and I really like this cat. I love it, I love the green eyes, but what really intrigued me is um, I ordered, this came in a square, and I didn't think that I ordered a square because I normally don't do budget-friendly kits in squares because um, oftentimes the squares are not um, are not very uh, uniform in size, so sometimes we um, they don't line up right. But I thought, okay, this is a square, and this is a perfect opportunity to give this a really good review um, and see how it does. And um, that's what I'm doing. So I am doing a square. And to be honest with you, I mean, I know I've only laid down just a very few drills, but it's not too bad, actually. 
I won't know until I actually get more on it to see if things are going to be popping. So I don't really know yet, um, but that's the start of it. So that's the why I'm doing this. Um, so this is in Gorgeous in Green. Um, okay, that is all the background. Five minutes of background, guys. You are absolutely fabulous to listen to me babble like this. So I'm going to bring you in um, just a little closer. I'm going to have to back you up just a little bit. No, I guess I got to bring you a little more forward. Sorry about that. I got to bring the camera just a little bit more forward so you can see better. There you go. That's what we're doing. Now you can see me a little bit better. So, um, anywho, that's where I'm at right now. This uh, painting has 24 colors. It's just a little 30 by 40. So hopefully it won't take me too long to do. Seems like I've got so many, um, so many irons in the fire. I can't seem to get anything finished. I'm trying. But it's just going to take me however long it's going to take me. So I want to show you these really quick. I am I'm actually really very pleasantly surprised. Oops, let's see if I can get this to... Come on. There we go. Now you can see it a little bit better. I'm really kind of impressed. Usually, I, I mean, I thought I was going to see a lot of trash... I thought I was going to see a lot of the little, um, oh, the little nubs that are sometimes on it. Um, I didn't expect to hear the clicking in of the drills. So again, a little bit surprised at that. Oops, kind of stuck there. Um, So anyway, like I said, I'm a little surprised. It's kind of a very pleasant surprise at this. Because a lot of people have been asking me about squares. And my usual response is to steer clear of them. Um, I mean, steer clear of the budget friendly. Do I have any more G's? Nope, no more G's. No more G's. So yeah, usually I steer clear of them, but um, maybe I'm going to give them a chance. I don't know. We'll see. We won't know again, like I said, for a little bit, a little bit longer, until I can get several squares done and see, and see how things are. So okay, squirrel thoughts, guys. Squirrel thoughts. What's been going on? Okay, so today is Saturday. And it is uh, March 2nd, and we had some snow last night. I woke up to snow. It's funny, I woke up early this morning, you know, and I grabbed my phone, and I was looking on Facebook, and I see a friend of mine, you know, here in town, and um, she's got pictures of snow, and I'm going, holy smokes, do I have, do, do we have snow here? What's going on? And I look out the window, and sure enough, we probably had Oh, maybe about an inch. I mean, it wasn't a lot, but we had head snow. And um, my little dog, you know, she doesn't like the backyard anyway, right? You guys are, are beginning to, to know her, I think. And um, she didn't want to go out in the backyard at all in the snow. She kind of slunk around by the edge of the house where there wasn't any snow, Um so that was really kind of cute. Um, it's all melted now. Um, got a little bit warmer, so it all it all kind of melted. And uh, okay, so 
the little issue that I have right now with this painting is I've got the number three that is actually in green, and then I have number threes that are in pink, and um, threes are actually a 310, and I wanna show you the issue I have with the three tens. You see what's wrong with that picture? I have got squares and I have rounds. Not so good. Um, I am gonna have to contact uh, the company and say I'm gonna need some more square 310s, but I really don't know where to pit, put them. I really don't think that they belong um, in the flower. They're showing lots of black that's in the flowers. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in as rendered, but what I have, let's see. Okay, hang on, I gotta bring you way in. Hang on there. Let's see if I can bring this up. Okay, can you see? Here, oops, let me get, where am I at? Right there, there's there's a three down, oops, I can't get my pen down. There's a three down there in green. Then there are threes, it's easier if I just point, I think. There's threes up here that are in pink, okay? But it's a 310. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and place it as rendered and I'm going to see how it is going. But I wanted to show you that and bring that up a little bit closer, okay? And then also show you that it, um, okay, and I got to pull you back out a little bit. Don't mean to make you seasick. Hang in there. There you go. I have you on my tripod, so it's a little bit, a little bit different. All right, so that was a, this whole thing is a little bit strange, but um, I will, like I said, I'm gonna put this in as rendered and we're gonna see what it turns out like, okay? Okay, getting back to my squirrel thoughts. So, you know, my sister and I, we go thrifting every Saturday and um, I thought, well, maybe we're not going to go because it's it's snowing. I mean, it really was snowing pretty good. Um, the roads were fine. They had dumped some, I don't know if it's sand or dirt or, or what, like on the intersections. And um, there was no ice, so it was safe to go. So we went and we got our coffee. So we like to go to McDonald's and get coffee because I hate to pay the price at like Starbucks or Dutch Brothers. I don't, I mean, I'll go to Dutch Brothers or like Human Bean um, sometimes for like a treat, but not, not all the time. But McDonald's, on the other hand, um, I can get um, a senior coffee. That's a small coffee. And I think it's, um, I think it's 69 cents. Something like that, 65, 69. And um, my sister likes to get, and I may have told you this, so I hope I'm not telling it twice, but maybe I am. Um, she likes to get the iced coffee with caramel. Well, on the McDonald's app, they always have a coupon for the iced coffee for 99 cents. So she gets a 99 cents iced caramel, iced coffee with caramel in it. And then I get my senior coffee and, you know, we are under two bucks and we are on our way. So we did that this morning and um, I'm just still looking for threes. Sorry, getting that's all the threes. And then we went over to our first thrift store. We kind of have a, a set um, pattern of where, we're, where, where we want to go. And we went to one thrift store and... Um, Man, it was great. They throw some, like today it was blue tags, and any blue tag um, was 50 cents. 
And I found um, a really cute sweatshirt for me. And um, we found quite a few, whoops, I dumped too much out there. Found quite a few things for her to resell. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Eileen Fisher, but it's a real high-end um, woman's fashion line. And um, let me show you these two. Really nice. But anyway, we found a gorgeous Eileen Fisher. It was um, pants and a top set. And um, it was like, boy, how much was that? Was it $4 or $5? It wasn't very much. I don't think they realized that it was an Eileen Fisher. Otherwise, I think they would have marked it up a whole lot more. So we got that. And um, we found a bunch of other stuff, too. And then we went over to the Goodwill in town. And um, I didn't find really anything. She didn't really find anything, maybe a couple things, but not much, and they're way too expensive. I don't know what's gotten on with Goodwill, but they are so expensive in comparison to other thrift stores. Um, so then we went to a Goodwill in another town, and um, I found a diamond painting. Yes, I did. I found a diamond painting, as I look every time I go out. Um, it's a budget-friendly, I keep hoping one day I'll, I'll see a Diamond Art Club or a Dreamer Design or something like that, but I have not yet. Um, so I picked it up and then I got um, another shirt that I liked. She found a bunch more stuff. Um, and then uh, from there I went home. And I talked to my daughter. She lives up um, up on a hill. She lives higher up than I do. So they got about four inches of snow. And the grandkids had um, a lot of fun. Um, they were building snowmen and they were playing. They were having they were having a lot of fun. Yeah, they had a lot of fun. And uh so we did that. I talked with her and came home and had lunch. Um, I filmed a unboxing that will go up, I think probably Monday, maybe tomorrow. I'm not certain. It'll be coming up soon. And um, let's see, what else? I need to do some big cleaning, let me tell you. I have a vacuum for a couple days and there is a lot of dog hair. Yep, a lot of dog hair. Let's see, what else is going on? I'm gonna be going next week to my granddaughter's um, band concert. She plays the trombone. So she called me a week or two ago to let me know what date it was. And so I'll be gonna be going to see that. That's, you know, it's really quite amazing. Um, these kids, they come in, they've never played an instrument before, and I'm so impressed with the instructors because they, I mean, he's he's taught them to read music. You know, they actually can play a song that you really under can know what it is. Um, so that was really kind of cool. And so I can't wait to see, because the last time I saw them, I saw, them, or saw her play was... See, school started in late August, so I think it was probably October-ish, like the first part of October. So they really hadn't, you know, been in school very long to learn. So now that it's been most of the school year, I'm really curious to see how they're doing. I'm also very curious to see if she's going to want to continue. I hope she does. 
I hope she wants to continue to play. I'm sorry, I'm kind of diamond painting so slow, but um, trying to get these to place nice and straight. But they're not, it's not too bad. So, yep, I'll be doing that. And um, not much, really. I lead, like, you know, I lead kind of a boring life. Um, diamond paint and work. Although I think I do have to go shopping a little bit. I am almost out of dog food, and I don't think she would like to be out of dog food. Now, this is another part. I know that you can't see these very well, but these are purple through here where my where my um, pen is, and they're calling for this number five pink. So again, I'm I'm gonna maybe trust the process, and we will we will see how this goes. We'll see how it goes but so far like I said I haven't I don't have enough on here yet to tell if we're gonna have popping drills or really how they're fitting or what this color is gonna look like the pink on the purple maybe this needed more more colors than what they um, had allowed because like over here where I'm at in this pink and now that's also a number five so I don't know we'll just have to trust the process But I am really excited for our Gorgeous in Green event. Now, there's no prizes, you know, or anything like that. I've got no sponsors for the event. Um, it's just more for bragging rights, you know, and, and just being able to show people, you know, what you're doing, what you're working on. Um, I know there was, I don't know, did you see me... Um, unbox the llamas from aliexpress if you did i got that because i saw someone on the facebook group um had it and it was so cute um i think lazy retired granny did the same thing i think she bought a um a landscape because she saw that there on the group but I just love how nice everybody is. They are awfully sweet. And they're from all over, I mean, all over the world. They're, I've got, they're in the US, Canada, I mean, all over internationally, UK, um, Germany. Uh, I think there's someone from Italy. Um, they are all over. I think I'm gonna need to get um, some new nano tape, or you know what? I'm just going to use some wax. Um, I'm not going to take the time to put the nano tape in, so I don't mind purple wax. In fact, I kind of like purple wax, and then I will change it and put some more nano tape in. Okay. A little wax in here. Now we can roll. We can rock and roll. Oops. I kind of slipped. Um, let's see. So yeah, a lot of fun. Go over, pop over and join the group. 
trying to figure out what I want to make for dinner tonight. I'm kind of looking forward to St. Patrick's Day. I love corned beef and cabbage. And I know not everybody does. Do you like it? Do you make it? Um, I think I'm going to make it. And I like mine, you know, kind of the same way that you do like a pot roast. I like uh, it with the carrots and um, potatoes, you know, all that, all the good stuff is what I like. And so, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'll go and get some corned beef and cabbage. Yeah, it seems like roast beef, like a good pot roast, that's kind of my comfort food. I love a good pot roast. Like it with, again, with the potatoes and carrots, or if I don't put potatoes in it to make mashed potatoes. <laughs> Squirrel thought, thinking about roast beef and mashed potatoes and carrots and stuff. Um, my my kids, when they were really little, um, like all kids, it's always a little more difficult to get them to eat, uh, you know, vegetables, right? And to make it kind of fun for them. And I remember my mother-in-law, bless her heart, God rest her soul. Um, we had made mashed potatoes and we had broccoli and carrots and, you know, all kinds of real good veggies. And, of course, you know, the kids weren't going to eat it. And she goes, well, let's make a volcano. And the kids go, what? We're going to make a volcano? And so she made the mashed potatoes and you know how you make the hole in it and then you pour the gravy and she goes, well, this is this is the volcano. So this is the mountain, and this is the lava in it. And she goes, we need to put some trees on the on the on the mountain, right? So let's grab some of the broccoli, and we're going to put some trees on the mountain. So then she put the trees on the mountain, and she very carefully decorated <laughs> decorated it. And oh my gosh, they were so enthralled, and they loved it, and they ate it. They and they ate uh, broccoli since then. So it was so much fun. So if you have little kids and they don't want to eat their broccoli, turn it into a tree in a volcano with some mashed potatoes and gravy. Um, they really do like that. We had a lot of fun. So, yep, that was my squirrel thought. Um, let's see. What... Else, what other squirrel thoughts? Where am I going? Oh my gosh, 28 minutes, guys. 28 minutes. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. What other kind of squirrel thoughts do I have? Oh, I'll give you a little teaser if you guys are still here with me. I bought a different kind of craft. Um, I got it on a great deal on eBay, so you're going to have to stay tuned and uh, hopefully watch that. I'll probably be doing a video in the next, in the next few days. I'm going to show you this pretty pink. Let me get these down. Actually, don't those look pretty good? They actually look pretty good. Hmm. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk it? So, um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that video. And uh, what else do I do? Oh, next week I go in. I go in for my mammogram. And I will do a public service announcement. Please... Um, you haven't scheduled your mammogram or you're behind getting it please schedule it I have a very close um, person that I know that um, gets her mammogram done every year and she they actually discovered breast breast cancer but 
They found it really early and the doctors are very encouraged that the treatment will be successful and um, she will live a long and healthy life. So, and I am late in getting mine. I was supposed to get mine last October and I, I didn't get it done. So, so that I get done next week. And um, let's see, what else? I don't think I have any other doctor appointments. I know my dog is going to the vet. She's getting her teeth cleaned. And I think that is, it's sometime in March, like a second week. Um, I can't remember but I think it's coming up. So yeah, she's gonna get her teeth cleaned. Oh, oh, give you an update on my sister's cat. Cause you guys always wanna keep updated about her. Olivia is doing well. She's tolerating um, the chemotherapy and the other medication well. She just had a, um, a check with the vet and blood work and um, the doctor is, hey, sorry about that, guys. Um, my camera stopped for just a second. And um, let me just kind of reposition myself. And then I had a little technical difficulties. So let me get back to what I was saying. I was talking about my sister's cat. Um, yeah, the vet is super happy. Oops, my drills dropped. Um, the vet is super happy about... Uh, how she's doing. Her blood work is super good. Um, she does not need to go back and see the vet until I think it's two months. So she is doing absolutely wonderful. Very pleased with that. Um, so yeah, she's doing great. And that's kind of the update on the animals. Nothing else is new that's going on with them. Um, okay, I think that's it with the K's. Do a, we'll do a couple more maybe, because I think I am a little over 30 minutes. Um, so let me do... Do a couple J's here. This is a really dark kind of eggplant purple kind of color. Let me show you that real quick. Again, really pretty. Um, so, so far, I mean, I think I'm making some pretty good progress here. Really appreciate you um, hanging out with me. It's always fun when you come by. You know, it was funny when I first started doing videos, it was so weird just sitting here talking like, like to myself. But I really feel like you guys are like in the room. Like we're just having a cup of coffee or, you know, something like that. And, um, and just chatting away. So I do really enjoy um, having you come and watch videos. Um, and I'm glad that you like my content. If you want to see anything, you know, new or different, you know, let me know. It's always good to hear from you. Oh my gosh, I'm just thinking about this now. I have some pictures for Pretty in Pink. Oh my gosh, and I forgot to, to post this here. I tell you what, um, let me see if I can put them in the community tab because I think we had some finishes for Pretty in Pink um, that they don't have, um, they don't have uh, Facebook access. So, Oh, gosh, guys, I'm so sorry that I forgot that. Where is my brain? I think I've got some 
I'm so sorry I forgot. Anyway, um, I will try to get that posted in the community tab for right now so you don't have to wait for the next video. Well, that, um, I really don't have anything else. Um, my dog is sitting on the couch looking at me. I don't know what she wants. Maybe she wants to go for a walk or something. Oh, I said the, I said the W word. Um, but we have no, um, no snow. There's actually some sun out right now, which is great. Um, I'm going to go to church tomorrow uh, and then I will come back and work on more diamond painting. So anyway, guys, you take care. It was great. You stopping by. Remember you're perfect exactly as you are. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing and do one thing today that your future self is going to thank you for. Okay, everybody take care. Bye-bye.